Welcome back to Tractor Doctor TV. Today, guys, we're going to go forth and pull the head off this little sea. So guys, you're wondering, Doc, I thought we weren't gonna do any more with the C. So the reason we're gonna go ahead and work on the C is I need to know what kit I, I need to bring in. Um, I do if I need, can I get away with a little bit uh, lower price kit? Or do I need to get a kit that has all the stuff to fix the valves and stuff on this C? So that's why we're gonna go ahead and pull the head off of it today. Um, I don't know how much teardown I'm going to I'm going to share with you guys, but it depends on how well it tear, we can do teardowns. So, um, at that point, guys, I guess let's get started. Okay guys, uh, have you pointed here at the uh, exhaust and intake on this little C? Um, not ain't too bad. Getting this rusty goo out of just about every one of them here. Some dirt here it looks like. Um, the more I dig into this thing guys, starting to question I don't know, kind of questioning how much work this thing's actually going to end up being, and I don't know, I don't want to give up on it because it's a nifty little tractor, but I think it's not going to be, I'm starting to wonder how much of a project this thing's really going to be. Um, let's go ahead, and I'll zoom you guys, I'll go set you guys up a little better, and let's go to work, and let's go ahead and get this head pulled. So guys, this is very important to go ahead and uh, check your push rods before you uh, wire, you're pulling it apart like this. This is a good time to go ahead and check that. Um, you kind of maybe can figure out why it was parked. Maybe they've been a push rod, maybe something um, or something like that. So guys, we're going to go forward and we're going to get these um, the uh, bolts pulled out of this little head. So let's get going. Before I get too far started here, guys, um, when it, I, I think I've talked about this once before, but when you're pulling ahead, always start at the uh, ones there in the middle, and then you kind of slowly work your way. Ah, my sock came off. But anyways, you want to work this one your way to the back uh, it's more important to do that if you happen to have something that you're working on that has an aluminum head you can uh, warp them by not um, breaking the the uh, breaking the head bolts loose that way so that's always important to make sure that you uh, um, when you break everything loose to uh, 
to go ahead and break it apart and break it loose either in order as it shows to uh, torque things down Oop, I missed one so like I was saying it's, it's you can also that's another way you can do that is just um, pop them loose or break them loose um, and like I was saying you can uh, break them loose in, in just the uh, the torque order that is one of those ways I suggest you should go ahead and do it but if you're not going to follow the torque order like I didn't always start here in the center and work your way back and forth to, until you get to the outside that way you're not um, you're not causing any issues especially if you have a head that's aluminum that is that that will uh, not be on tour or uh, not done either breaking from the middle or the uh, where you would go the the uh, order that it was uh, torqued down in in reverse or not in reverse but torque it down in the order that you should torque it down um, that that helps it not uh, like I say with an aluminum head it, it causes them to warp so let's see we got everybody all the way loose the other thing I want to suggest as make as a suggestion is you could go to work and and uh, put a number on each one of these and then that way you know which one it's where it came from and then you know that way you can either match them back up to the hole they came from or if you're gonna find the torque order that's just to do it in the torque order or you, to the torque order to, to take them loose it also helps as you put those back where you and see these they're different sizes the, long, the back ones are longer than the front ones are so that's and then when you're done I like to set mine in the uh, yeah wasn't too bad but I like to set mine ooh guys what a mess and those valves yeah those valves the main reason we pulled this off is for you can see the valves and the valves I'll show you here in a second but let's look at this we got water in three of the cylinders here guys so yeah it is definitely going to be I don't think I get that to but yeah it is there are uh, there it goes um so yeah guys we're we're at uh we got dirt or some some big bunch of rest here this one's full of water that one's kind of crusty too this one here's quite crusty so guys that's where we're at with this little thing okay guys we're looking here at the head um yeah the valves are kind of rusty but i think we can with a few with a little bit of wire brushing and and stuff i think i can clean those up enough that we can reuse them um i will eventually work work on pulling them out here in the future and and seeing what what the uh, valves are looking like i'm uh, uh, the stems are looking like with some of them being stuck i'm pretty sure that I'm not going to need to do the head uh, head part of the get that part of the, that kit that does the head work so I don't think I'm going to do really any head work on this thing I'm just going to do the uh, the block the putting new pistons and sleeves and stuff and bearings and such in the block and call that a call that a day so well guys I think that's going to be the video for this week or for today um, um, we found out what we needed to find out I definitely need I think I can get away with the, uh, the, the about the three a little over three hundred dollar kit I can get through uh, yesterday tractor so I think that we're gonna go with that one here in the near future and um, that leads me to guys 
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you feel like it, go ahead and share it. Um, hit the, the uh, go down and hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, go right across over and hit that little bell because that tells you when my next video comes out. And as always, guys, thanks for coming and watching. See you next time. Bye.